Good morning, everybody. In this video, we're going to do another example of showing that a subset is a subgroup. So here we start with a group G and a normal subgroup N. So N is normal. Uh, and then you have some arbitrary subgroup H. And we're going to look at this product set. We're going to call it N times H, which you take an element from N and you take an element from H. You multiply those, you get an element. Now do that for all elements of N and all elements of H. And you take that whole collection, and the claim is that this is a subgroup. So how do we do that? How do we prove, it, prove it's a subgroup? So three things. First thing, we want to show that the identity element is an element of this product subgroup. Second, we need to show that if you have two elements, x and y, in this product subgroup, then their product, x times y, is also in NH. And third, we need to show that if you have some element x and nh, then the inverse element of x is also in nh. All right, so first we'll try to show the identity element that's in there. And so we note, of course, since n is a subgroup, e is an n. Since h is a subgroup, e is an h. And so that tells you that e, which is the product of e and e, is in nh, because, well, e is an n, and e is an h. All right, so it contains the identity. So second, I'm going to assume I have two elements in nh. So the first one, let's write it as something like m times h. So the m will be an n, and the little h will be an h. And we're going to multiply this by, say, an n sub k, or n times k, where n is an n, and k is an h. So we want to show that this is an element, oops, that this is an element of nh. So I take one element from nh, and another element from nh, and I want to show that their product is an element of nh. So here's what I note. So this element m h n k is an element of m h n well we can just keep a k on the end that's fine and because i know that n is a normal subgroup that means that n is going to commute as a set with any element or any subset so this is equal to m nh, little k, and I know that, well, m is in n, and n, of course, is equal to n, and so this whole thing is contained in, well, the first part, m times n, that's contained in n. It's actually equal to n. And then the second bit, I have h times k, well, h is, in, is equal to h, and k is an element of h. So this whole thing is a contained in, actually equal to, h. And so we've just proved that m, h, and k, right, this was this product we started with, is an element of n times h. All right, third step. We want to show that if you have an element in nh, then its inverse is in nh. So let's say I have some n times h in nh, where my n is an n, and my h is an h. Oops, h is in h. Let's invert it. So you have to remember that when you invert a group element, okay, socks and shoes here, right, you're going to invert each element, but then you reverse the order. So this is h inverse and inverse. And I know that the h inverse is still an element of H, because H is a subgroup, and N inverse is still an element of N. So this is an element of H, N. But again, because N is normal, this is equal to N times H. And so in total, the inverse element, N, H inverse, is an element of N, H. And this proves that N, H is a subgroup of G.